it's okay welcome welcome to our workshop and um, uh, it looks like we have prima prima presentare starter okay uh, i make a very short uh, presentation as a starter and to define some terms to be on the same page about the proposed content of our round table and after i invite for around five minutes the participants that already send me their institution their company presentation to have a presentation short presentation and after we start we start the round table with discussions with shared some good practice and also i think will be very very useful if we could also share what wasn't so good uh, so called the lesson learned okay now make innovation happen it's a round table um, as a satellite event of prior cam 18th edition maturity as you can see organized by our institute national institute for r and d in chemistry and petrochemistry e j kim bucharest first if you discuss about okay if you discuss about uh, innovation technology technology transfer let's have a short view uh, what we propose for a short definition used by world intellectual property organization that help us to uh, to protect our work our pro intellectual property technology systematic knowledge to fabricate a product or to provide a service in industry agriculture medicine or commerce but not all the knowledge would be inside the technology the same institution world intellectual property organization propose three criteria to be systematic to be in a certain place written form or a person intellect and also what is very very important must be directed for achieving a useful purpose in industry agriculture or commerce in society in general now we discuss about technology at the less level when i look at that definition initially nasa start defined for aerospace nine levels starting from idea identified to commercial deployment or a full usage in space uh, in in, uh, in aerospace uh, field it comes uh, european european uh, uh, programs with uh, to refine the definitions and to say five and six are industry industrially relevant environment after seven eight nine competitive manufacturing i could say more operational because as you know there are a lot of debates here nobody is so clear what it means five six seven eight the starting for the more precise maybe more useful for us definition of uh, uh, european programs to say five six is how it can be made in real life in a factory let's say and seven eight nine how it works in real use now what happens sometime is so called technology ready less level trl for all and it means sometimes in uh, our r and d labs we stop in uh, something verified in the lab and maybe we could not take into account how it can be made maybe you don't know and also how it works in use Now let's speak about innovation pass. We start from creativity. We have good idea for new products or process. We derive new ideas in invention. After next step, it's to bring ideas to life. That is innovation. It means we understand by innovation only it finish when it's successful in produced something new and useful is has in effect also in good. Uh, a good uh, market uh, invention could be patentable or not and we could say more in our labs are potentially innovative and became innovation together with a company we were introduced on the market or in society now some 
very interesting example from invention to innovation. It was Gero Vitali in Romania, you know about. And maybe the most famous is Coca Cola. Start from an invention of Dr. Pemberton, who sells this product only in his environment. And after passing through some steps, gains a huge commercial commercial success that make some effects in society. Maybe not good for some people. Say it's not so good, but it has a big effect from invention of Dr. Pemberton to innovation. Now, technology transfer. When we start in R&D lab, we derive inventions, potential innovative. We move that knowledge and also discoveries that fulfill these three criteria to a company. It means we've done a technology transfer. Next is how it's linked with innovation. First, we do this technology transfer. And after the company together with a lab, you could see how decrease the color of technology transfer, the influence goes introduced in market in this moment, it becomes innovation. And the R&D labs together with a company should go hand in hand for this process. But the question is also how frequently happens that? What we could find? A general statistic says from 3,000 very good idea, only one became a success on the market. Are a lot of things, not enough knowledge regarding innovation process, budgetary constraint, and so on. From perspective of innovation pass, not from pure R&D, to generate good idea is a simple step, difficult to select the right idea and to implement them. For this is so-called management of innovation. And if we have a look at that, that it comes together with R&D, it means to find new knowledge that could be applied and after to do transfer, to go to fabrication and commercialization. Uh, something should be boring, should be not so clear, but it's not so, we could use and we, what I propose mainly from this, uh, from this uh, workshop and not on, uh, from this round table, when we start from prototype and how we do tests. And also there are some methods, statistics, verification, concurrent engineering that could help. Not only, also marketing and many others. Now, uh, just a great in a general idea. So we have inputs that could be controllable in the process. It means we could set the value and uncontrollable that come from outside, like temperature outside, the humidity. But we should do as much as possible to simulate and to do experiments in the lab, also it is uncontrollable. And so we could derive a so-called robust design by Taguchi. In this case, you see uncontrollable input, let's say temperature provoke a huge output uh, um, and swing that could be a lot of defects and should be done from the beginning how much is possible to be very flat this dependence that is a robustness robust design it means uncontrollable inputs minimize the effect of outputs it means defects its defect is not a success in the market now i thank you and i kindly uh, ask you to the start Basically is the uh, discovery process, the customer discovery process, which is um, done in order to refine, continuously refine our ideas, uh, understanding deeply uh, our customer problem. So really getting into uh, what are their, their, their pain, pain points, their desires and uh, their current needs. So what we do is continuously interviewing our uh, users and then prototyping, of course, with different types of prototype. Uh, some prototype for testing the usability of the solution, but others also for testing the ID in itself and how uh, the uh, data input is, uh, how, how easy and smooth is the uh, data input. Uh, and of course, testing the value of our solution can also 
be done through, uh, for, for instance, uh, getting letter of intent or assessing the time spent uh, for by our customers. So this is all. The, these are also uh, other examples to continuously test and uh, refine the value we can bring uh, to our customers. And then next slide. Uh, this is um, what we have concretely done uh, following this discovery process. So you can see that before we were established in September 2020, we conducted a field investigation with lots of interviews, uh, scientific literature review, and so on. And then the first prototype that we delivered in 2021 uh, was first to test the data inputs. So we uh, learned a lot about this and then test the UX. Uh, we also uh, get a lot of feedback on how farmers interact with the tool, uh, how we can ease uh, the process. And then we delivered a, fi a final prototype in July. And from there, we uh, launched a pilot phase uh, with uh, partners such as cooperatives or uh, farming product traders, uh, which deployed our solution to more than 300 farmers. And we also get key learnings from that pilot phase, uh, and especially the fact that the data input process is a huge pain for farmers. It is time consuming and sometimes the um, evidence collection is not uh, suited to their actual available data. So what we decided after that uh, is to deliver a second version of the platform, which corresponds better, which matches better their uh, field uh, data. And this is where we stand now. Um, so since several weeks now, we are developing a new version of the platform with a simplified process. And coming to a current pilot project that we are uh, actually carrying out in Romania, the idea here is to test a financing scheme uh, for carbon farming applied to uh, Romanian farmers. And basically, um, so we are doing this project with uh, partners, uh, Haifaisen Bank and Rodbun within the frame of the Elevator Lab uh, competition. And uh, the idea is to test three things. First is to assess, to assess sorry, the um, interest of Romanian farmers in carbon farming and assess as well their potential in generating carbon. Uh, second is confirm technological feasibility. And third, to qualify Raiffeisen interest in carbon finance. So I will come back also to that if you are interested. And uh, last but not least, our current um, innovation activity is also to assess the opportunities we could have with the food and beverage industry. Uh, as you may know, there is a huge challenge in securing our current food supply chains. And one way of doing that is through regenerative agriculture. So uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for your presentation. Sorry, but we need to make yeah, the time is running tour. Fast. <laughs> and very interesting. And uh, one, one, one simple question. You say strictly privately confidential. I think that didn't apply, doesn't apply because you are in a public presentation. It's not for us, yeah? Strictly private and confidential. We don't, don't have an NDA ah. with you. Sorry. Don't, we disconsider what you say in that, yeah? Because you put in a public discussion, limited but public, yeah? No, no, it's, yeah, it's okay for public, yeah. yeah. Uh, it means don't mention, you, I think you don't maintain strictly private and confidential, yes? Isn't it? It's, it's okay, yeah, yeah. It was uh, automatically written, but uh, it's fine. No, 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 I know, I know what, I work on a huge corporate, I know, and I know what's that. It means when you have an NDA, okay, we'll discuss later. Because you also ask if you like to share also with participants after. Okay, thank you so much. We come back. And now uh, I invite uh, Professor uh, Adrian Tulbure from uh, University of uh, uh, Alba Iulia. Uh, Professor Adrian Tulbure is also the director of Center of Technology, Technological Transfer in that university. It's in we have long time cooperation. Hey, professor, hello, hello, hello. Ah, ah, hello. Here. Oh, hey, Professor uh, Tulbure, uh, engineering electronics and electrical engineering has a huge experience and practical assessment he will present for you. 
Okay, thank you for the introduction, Mr. Nikki. Okay, welcome. Do you see the screen? Yes, I, I see you. I hear you and see you. Now I should see your presentation, it's okay? Yes. Okay, thank you for proceed. the invitation. We thank you for your participation. Please proceed. Um, I want to present my university and our um, technology transfer center. We are located in the central region of Romania, in the middle of Romania. Hello. You hear me? Please mute who is not speaking. But please mute. Elena, please deactivate your. Please mute. Who is not speaking? You hear me? Okay, please proceed, Adrian. Mm -hmm. I want to present my university and my town. We are located in the middle of Romania, about um, under 100,000 citizens in Alba Iulia. Uh, science that we have a university. And at the university, um, we founded um, two years, three years ago, a technology transfer center. In total, the, at the university, we have uh, about 5,000 students, um, yeah, bachelor, maybe half, uh, 2,000 uh, until Friday, um, 3,000 students and uh, master and doctoral, doctoral PhD students also. Please, the next slide. Yes, I want, <laughs> in this time uh, to give you an uh, overview, one overview about our research, our development activities. Uh, of course, we are a uh, play, um, player in this uh, game uh, about um, founding in research and development, Horizon 2020 and uh, internal and external international uh, foundries also. Uh, you can see in this slide the most relevant um, research development innovation and technology transfer grants like uh, we are focused in the field of um, machine learning, artificial intelligence because we have um, uh, students in computer science uh, in Romanian language as uh, in uh, English language also. We have some activities in the ink field and um, uh, yeah, artificial learning, some about the innovative technologies uh, concerning um, recovery of waste material and uh, fusion and data mining also. Research uh, projects, uh, European um, financial support. Uh, on the other hand, we have in the university strong relationship with um, companies, with the industry in region. Um, we uh, was signed uh, maybe over 10 or 12 contracts uh, between university and industry, we, uh, in special with uh, automotive companies, uh, Continental, Bosch, and so on. I want very much to uh, make some advertising about our two center. We have 
to a certified to accredited center. Please, next slide, please, Nikki. One of these is a center for research in electronic system and intelligent control. You can see some um, research grants with uh, in framework of a national uh, scientific plan and also in framework with uh, financial support from the from Brussels, from the European Commission. Another um, certified center accredited, um, please next slide, is a technology transfer center. I am the director, I am responsible, responsible for this uh, center. After my work in Germany, I come back in my, in, at the university in uh, Alba Iulia, and now I am professor for power electronic and electronic measurement. We uh, carry out uh, some um, expertises or some uh, uh, audit and uh, reports in the field of energy micro and um, um, mini energy grids. Um, also, we are certified in the field of um, environment, environment, environmental audit, and technical audit. So, um, science two years, we are um, accredited uh, from the Ministry of uh, Research and uh, Innovation in Romania in the field of IT in the field of environmental and climate and in the field of automotive and mechatronics. Uh, one uh, word more, we have collaboration in all the, in more levels with the uh, industry in our region. Uh, we make together some um, courses, some classes like Bosch or Conti Academy, you can see in the slides, um, not only teaching activities, but also uh, research and more more innovation and development as, as uh, research. We have together with the industry two PhD students in framework of uh, industrial doctorate program. Thank you for invitation and thank you. we are ready you, to Professor participate Tulkure. in the future with our expertise. Um, thank you so much, Professor Adrian Tulpure. You thank have you also. outstanding experience and also, as I mentioned, uh, we, we have also our institute, the Chekima Cooperation for um, History and Patrimony of Major University to rehabilitate uh, the wonderful uh, Alba Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much in, in and uh, stay, uh, stay with us to make yes, some discussion yes. further. Uh, now uh, I invite, uh, I kindly invite uh, Professor uh, Cornel Cobianu, outstanding researcher. Uh, now is member of uh, uh, Romanian Academy of uh, Scientists, and he was uh, first uh, scientific director of uh, National Institute of uh, Microtechnology, and after first uh, director of a lab of sensor and wireless in Bucharest for Hanoel, chief scientist, uh, and now he's um, with uh, Academy of uh, Science being um, the vice president of a section of uh, information technology and also it's a company that he will present now perfect Please, Professor Coviano, please proceed. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Varatiu, for inviting me and uh, our company, Nano Mems, uh, to, present, uh, to present here a few words uh, about uh, the company. Uh, 
the company NanoMEMS was uh, founded in 2006 by Dr. Uh, Marin Gheorghe, uh, with a PhD in chemistry in IMEC, uh, Belgium. In, uh, this is a small company involved in, uh, in uh, research and development with a very active uh, uh, participation in national and uh, European uh, projects. Um, the company uh, has a uh, good expertise and uh, good technical capabilities for uh, nanomaterial synthesis by different methods like uh, or precipitation, hydrothermal, sonochemical, uh, chemical bus deposition, just to mention a few of these methods that we can use uh, in the company. Also, the company is, uh, can uh, uh, do research in the area of uh, sick film and thin film technology where screen printing and uh, inkjet printing can be also applied for the fabrication of uh, thin and sick film needed in uh, solid state uh, devices and uh, sensors. In addition, uh, the, the company is uh, well uh, prepared uh, to participate in European uh, projects related to uh, sensing technology research in the area of chemical, bio, uh, chemical, uh, also mechanical, optical, and MEMS and NEMS uh, uh, devices. Also, we can say that uh, the company is uh, well uh, prepared to, to do a very deep uh, technology radar in a different uh, research field, and then uh, such a technology radar to be accompanied by uh, the concept development uh, and the new device uh, uh, innovation. Uh, thanks to such an uh, agile behavior of our company, we are now involved in very important uh, European projects uh, like uh, the project uh, we mentioned here indirectly by the team involved. It's a uh, FET open project uh, related to transdimensional uh, films uh, for uh, optical applications. Uh, in this project, uh, we, have, uh, we are partners with um, Tindal, with uh, CNR Nanotech Italy and uh, Cantabria and a few other companies. But uh, <clears throat> I have included only this because this was the key team that developed uh, intellectual property for the, for the project. Next, please. Uh, regarding the, the key, the, the title of our round table, I, we, I consider very important uh, for the second part of discussion to, to have a more, uh, a deeper uh, analysis uh, in what, what you need to have an innovation process at the organization level. In any company, you may find people that are good in, uh, in uh, developing new concepts, but this is not the whole truth. What you need, actually, you need to, to trigger the innovation at all levels, from the fabrication level up to the highest level. So this is the most important concept that is concerning nowadays all the companies, from smaller companies to highest companies or biggest uh, corporations. Uh, so that, that is just a, a, a starting point for uh, triggering more discussions. And the, the second important aspect of innovation is uh, a change in the way we are uh, leading a company from uh, the CEO level. And this is called now hybrid management where the CEO is not only the people, the highest, the, peop the, the men and the scientists uh, that is uh, having a, a vision on the future, but it's also able to promote uh, this innovation approach starting from the lowest level and to give trust, uh, courage to the people to, to become uh, innovators. And this is CEO as an enabler. Probably we can talk more in the second part. But coming back to, coming, yes. Coming back, uh, next slide now, uh, 
we just want to show what we are doing in this area of innovation because we want to stay stick to the idea of innovation. And from, from this river reason, we present here, for example, what we did in a Romanian project, in Romanian, yes, project. We did, we had a, a project together with National Institute of, Mathem of Physics of Materials. And here you see a list of patents that our company has registered at OSIM in the area of Pelisto or chemical gas sensors for methane detection. Uh, so this is an example about the innovation that we did in a, in a, in a Romanian project. Next. Um, here we have another examples of uh, innovative contribution of uh, Nanom in uh, one of the European projects we developed. Uh, uh, we are member uh, and that is a FET Open project. Uh, you know maybe more about FET Opens. I will not insist on that. But here in this project, uh, we have uh, disclosed uh, two patent uh, European uh, applications. Uh, the first one is the multiband, multipolarization, plasmonic photodetector and fabrication method. And the other one is uh, regarding the reconfigurable plasmonic photodetector and fabrication method. Uh, here it's, it's exactly uh, what, you, what we discussed before about intelligent, uh, about, yes, about intelligent um, uh, innovation and collective innovation. Uh, next slide now, it's uh, probably the last one that we want to talk now is regarding another innovative approach in another European project where uh, Nanom together with Tindal uh, have uh, disclosed the patent regarding self-power on chip integrated sending nano and microsystem fabrication method for the same. So uh, I stop here. I just want to prove what I said uh, at the beginning that uh, Nanom is a uh, contributor and uh, an uh, innovative uh, uh, company, which is now in contact with uh, partners from outside. We are uh, in talking now with, uh, with a UK company and try to further uh, offer a license maybe on uh, Pelister technology. Also, we talk about uh, the same things with another group in France. So we want to push forward our innovations and hopefully someday something will happen. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Professor Cobiano. Uh, we have uh, 45 minutes left. And uh, uh, I uh, maybe if you could present shorter and after to have a discussion more. And now I invite an uh, uh, outstanding private company, DDS Diagnostic, Dr. Uh, Dr. Lorena Bocancia Matescu. Uh, we have long cooperation with research with this company. It's also it's involved also in uh, research, but also in publication. They they have success on the market on testing. They will explain to you. Uh, please, Lorena, uh, proceed. Thank you very much for your kind words and for the for including us in this event. Uh, yes, I am a member of the research and development department of DDS Diagnostic, which is one of the most innovative Romanian biotech companies for in vitro diagnostic, and was founded in two thousand and two. Next slide, please. Can you hear me? Thank yes, you. yes, please. Thank you. Yes. So, um, some of our major objectives are the development of new test technologies for rapid in vitro diagnostic. Uh, we want to improve performances in terms of sensitivity, specificity, and accuracy. We are also focused on immune and molecular diagnostic in the point of care domain. We also want to develop our production sector and international sales, and of course, the funding expansion via private or even European grants. Next. So what is our vision? Our vision is that everyone should benefit from faster, accurate and accessible diagnosis by getting easier, precise and affordable rapid tests to either take in hospitals or clinics or even in the comfort of their own homes. The right moment is now because the COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated the certification and uh, entering on the market of this type of tests. Next slide, please. 
So we have six departments. We have a production area. We have sales and marketing, logistics, research and development department, as I mentioned, technical support, and regulations. Our main purpose is to provide affordable, efficient solution for medical laboratories. We develop and manufacture and sell original tests uh, uh, and equipments for rapid and accurate diagnosis for various pathologies. We are also involved in various research projects in the bio and nanotechnological field. And uh, we aim to adapt and improve our products constantly. Besides these projects for improving our own uh, products, we also want to open the road for new technologies. We are currently working with um, electrochemical biosensors. We have an application using screen printed electrodes for in vitro diagnostic purpose. And the results uh, show us that this is a very promising platform for the future of uh, quantitative testing. And also they have impressive sensitivity in terms of um, detection limits. They can uh, detect target analytes uh, in concentrations uh, far lower than picograms. Next slide, please. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we recently entered uh, the therapeutical uh, domain. We are currently engaged in an application with hydrogels. We uh, incorporate the various components that can confer them a dual effect. Uh, for instance, wound monitoring and uh, also uh, curing. Uh, the main problem as we see it is that People uh, most of the time uh, receive delay screening and diagnosis. The reasons for this problem are inconvenient access, overcrowding, and uh, less and less available physicians. Of course, the services are becoming more expensive also. And uh, we all know that a late diagnosis can significantly reduce the chance of, of a cure. Uh, next slide, please. What we can provide is immediate diagnostic through yes or no qualitative testing that can be carried out at home or in a convenient place and are much more affordable. Next slide, please. So I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the basic structure of a lateral flow immunoassay, but they usually consist of uh, membranes, which are made from different materials and they overlap each other by just the right amount and are mounted on a backing card using an adhesive. Additionally to these membranes, they also contain a bioconjugate solution, which is composed of a labeling um, molecule and a detection molecule, and an antibody solution for the test line and another antibody solution for the control line. Now, these lateral flow immunoassays are becoming very popular, uh, basically on the front of the recent pandemic with SARS-CoV-2. And they're very easy to perform. Uh, they imply very low costs and they can be used for the screening and diagnosis of a series of uh, diseases. There are two main types of lateral flow tests, the sandwich type, which is very similar to an ELISA test and the competitive type, which is mainly used for semi-quantitative and quantitative tests. The positive sandwich tests are represented by a presence of a color line in the test area while the, the positive competitive tests are represented by the absence of a color line in the uh, test area. Now, we all know that nanotechnology can play an essential role in different personalized medicine applications, and lateral flow immuno immunoassays can be included in what is in trend right now, uh, telemedicine, that can allow healthcare professionals to evaluate, diagnose, and uh, treat patients from a distance using telecommunication technology, such as our smartphones, for example. Now, these kind of tests are very versatile. They can detect various target analytes with very great accuracy, such as hormone, viruses, microorganisms, uh, biomarkers for cardiovascular disease or cancer, parasites, and even fungal infections. Besides this versatility, they can also be used not only in the medical sector, but also in the agricultural sector or even in food and animal feed, for instance. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, we are very involved in uh, research and we have uh, various partner partnerships with the uh, research institute. We have all the necessary uh, certifications to access the market. And we have production sales, marketing, and logistics departments and offer support to our clients. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.
for details, if you agree, we'll share also with participants uh, your slides and uh, they could contact. And also our institute as we start discussion with uh, okay to work in uh, biosensors as we discussed. Okay. Now I kindly invite uh, Dr. Katarin Purbulescu for National Institute from uh, from Microtechnology. Okay, Katarina, are with us? Oh, Katarina? 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 Do you hear us? You are on mute, Katarina. Uh, yeah, let's not be uh, Adrian uh, Popescu, Corinne Popescu, Major San Popescu. No, yes. Catalina, you are with us? You are on mute if you are with us. Uh, maybe you are first scientific director. Would you like? Maybe to go a little bit faster. I, I tried to present myself because uh, three months ago I was there. Uh, could you, uh, Catalin? Uh, okay, uh, let's go a little bit to show uh, the next presentation. Uh, Florin Popescu, you are with us? No, I present myself, our institute. Check in. Let's stand up. The PowerPoint, a round table, a round table. No, no, no. Yeah, that's the round table. That. Okay. Okay, uh, I try to go a little bit faster to present uh, our institute. Uh, please, next. Our institute has uh, over seven years of experience, was founded by um, outstanding scientists, led by the famous all over the world professor, uh, member of Romanian Academy, Costin Denenicescu, well known in uh, in uh, uh, organic chemistry. Uh, if you look in, in 2000, part two, we became a uh, national institute of r &D. Looking at numbers, there are 120 researchers, 75 of them are PhD, and from this PhD, seven are PhD supervisor, it means Dr. Habilitat. This is an interesting uh, scientific uh, uh, background of our institute, please next. But we see also stay very good in applications. We have applied research projects in practically a lot of areas, as you could see. In heritage and culture identity, we have good cooperations with the uh, uh, Center and with the University of Alba Iulia, as I've mentioned. Please, Nick, please. Uh, a lot of published research granted and requested invention, also technology transferred more work together with uh, private companies that we obtain the uh, final products that are on the market. Next, please. If we look at the area, technical area, capitalization of bioresources, nanoscience, nanomaterials, environmental protection, sustainable management, and also very important our days recovery and after recycling and glorification of byproducts and working from increasing competitivity, of industrial products and why not to refurbish the times ago outstanding chemical industry. And in what we trust, all others bring data. We have in 2021, uh, 30 products, uh, 27 technologies, two technological services, all have patent applications we received from years before granted patents and also 43 award-winning participation at the uh, International Innovation and Invention um, uh, exhibitions, from where 22, more than a half, a little bit more than a half are called. Our infrastructure, uh, laboratories, and also, that is good to know, we have accredited laboratories for chemical analysis by RENAR, and we are part of ERIS, engaging the European Research Infrastructure System. Please, next. And we could find on this address that we'll send to you, uh, with, uh, where are we engaged with? We find number of services, equipments, experts, the fields, practical, the main fields of expertise of our institute. 
And we have this structure that is in these areas, the consortium, let's say, is next. And if you look in our page, www.acteam.ro, you find technology transfer centers is in the first page, please, next. And in this, we could find more details. This is next. And now we run a project by this technology transfer center development by innovation with the um, South region and uh, with companies. And we do uh, start to do technology transfer. We prepare that and also increase our capability of our uh, technology transfer center. Please next. What an interesting in cooperation network between and sharing experience, good practice. I think we have not too much time now, but we'll share presentation and I'll be happy to, to keep in touch and why not to write projects, to write more, more details about, uh, to find more details uh, to be together uh, for a consortium and also with company to transfer technology to go to make innovation happens as you discuss. Um, who is online and didn't present yet, please. Florine, Dr. Florine Popescu is. Katarin Perbulescu, you are there. Okay, I send their presentation. And now the floor is open. If you like to be also from, from the room, we are also some colleagues here in check -in. Uh, if you like to say something and to, to share other, I, I have also prepared some uh, uh, some uh, aspects here. Or maybe this is someone who uh, I sent also the presentation of people who could not attend, but I see Katarina, it's online, maybe has a technical problem. But don't worry, I send to all um, their presentation and their uh, data. You could uh, stay in touch with people. Now we have a half an hour to have discussion, uh, maybe less because at uh, half past, uh, see, Stefan, it is another, yes, will be another. Maybe 25 minutes because you should, should switch, but okay. Now the, the floor is for all of us would like to share something. I also prepare something. Maybe, maybe if it's not, uh, maybe to show you something that I discussed. Robust design, if it's not, uh, please. Please, please click here to show what I mean. Yes. Uh, let's share very, very few to a little bit to show you what I mean by these uh, methods that I propose to be shared. Uh, when we discuss about the design of experiment, uh, so it was first derived in uh, years 40s in agriculture because in agriculture in, in London, it was a research institute of biotechnology. It takes two years sometimes, and they have no time to uh, to lose what we have done. And it was uh, done by Fisher. Uh, please next. What it means, we vary together the inputs, not one factor at a time. Uh, please next, next, a uh, next slide. Okay, a uh, next slide to be more simple in explaining. Okay, next. Next to be full. Okay. Next and next and stop here. When we do generally, we do one factor at a time. It means if you have two value, low or high, for instance, three milliampere, 10 milliampere, 10 degrees, 100 degrees. Generally, we put in one factor at a time all at the one level. We vary only one at a time, four trials. If you do all together, how it said, we have like a uh, Make in, in the binary, we know it's zero, 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 one, zero. It means eight trials. What is a huge difference between that? If you do this design of experiment, it means all this combination, we could capture interaction and this will be benefit for robust design. Please next. 
And here it's a real life example that I worked many years ago. I don't, please. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, how it was done, you see, it was for a material, it was pressure cycle, two different cycle, two different way to do here, it was gasification, the gasification, two level of temperature, and we have eight, eight trials. And if you do here, it was four different forms, 13 uh, cycles. Here is blocking. It means you do principle of experimentation. We separate what we know are homogeneous. And after here, it was replication. And what we have obtained here is important. What we discuss about robustness or to reduce cost, please see in, in the left side, um, when we have its interaction between two cycles and two levels of temperature. What it means, this interaction, because the lines are not parallel, because in analytic form, you find they are in product. Next, da. okay. And what you could do here, for someone, and that has, no. Okay, uh, it means if you look at left side from cycle 555, 120, it's a small variation of output when you have a big variation of 10 degrees of a temperature. Opposite, other cycle is a much larger variation. What it means if we set the left side, our manufacturing cycle is more robust because we should not fix the temperature very precise and very expensive. It's a huge difference. It is a kind of robust design for manufacturing. Also could, could take into account for output. Okay. Now, if other one likes to share with us some experience or to some comments, please. Hello, Katarina, you are back. Maybe he has problem with communication. Okay. Oh, body, I have other examples, <laughs> but uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I like Professor Tulbure to explain us more because I was in Alba Iulia and it was amazing what I find there uh, regarding the link with academia, with Bosch Academia, what are you doing to Continental? How you support this company directly? It means you are inside innovation paths. Uh, please, please, Professor Tulbure, could share with us. Yeah, Alba Iulia is a small town. Um, or we are happy that we have a good connection, strong connection with the industry. Uh, Al Alba country is in the um, um, list on the fourth place as uh, export pro heat in uh, Romania, in the auto. And uh, with this background, close some collaboration with, uh, with the automotive companies in all the level, at the, all the level, all the levels. Uh, science three years, we started uh, the Bosch Academy. I mean, seven uh, modules, teaching modules, which are held from the specialists from the uh, managers from Bosch in Romania at our university. We see a very successful and very future-oriented uh, collaboration between uh, university and industry. On the one um, hand, on the other, uh, we are able in our uh, two center, certified center, research center and technology transfer center 
we are able to able to do to carry out some measurements actually uh, in the energy field we are able to measure between microwatts and megawatts in the values and in the frequency in the zero and um, three uh, gigahertz we are able to catch to to try and to measure energy in this field if the energy comes from biomaterial or from biogas or from energy grid it's egal we have some experience with uh, energy measurement and electrical magnetical field management um, and um, in the IT uh, domain. I mean to measure bit, to measure bit train, bit impulses, and so on. We are ready to collaborate with your institute. And I think if you put together our competences in the domain, in the, in the field of electronics measurement and biotechnology and chemical technology is a bank background and um, good starting point to apply for European foundries for European projects. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good idea. And we hope to extend our uh, cooperation and also to be close to uh, industry who stop at the Carpathian mountains. <laughs> are there especially? Yeah? You are very close and good cooperation. Is I think if we companies. are uh, interdisciplinary and uh, pluridisciplinary or intradisciplinary, we have more chances to achieve and to obtain some uh, financial support. Thank you so much, Professor Tolbure. Catalin, you are back? No. Uh, okay, I ask, uh, I kindly ask uh, Professor Oviano because he put a very provo provocative slide related strictly to innovations that we propose. He also prepared a lot of uh, slides uh, related to scientific work, but I share with you as he likes to do that. Uh, now, Please come here to be seen. <laughs> uh, please, uh, Professor Cobiano, explain more what you mean by that and what you intend uh, to, to provoke us uh, with that concept. Please, Professor Cobiano. Thank you again, uh, Thank you again for inviting me. Um, yeah, I was very pleased to see this topic uh, launched by this uh, round table, make innovation happen, because I think this is the key for the present times and uh, also for the future times. Uh, and uh, regarding the, the innovation, uh, we've been together with uh, Dr. Varakio in Hannibal for many years, and uh, in, a, in a such a big company, corporation like Honeywell, uh, indeed innovation was, a, was a, a requirement for us. It was actually for the first time in our life when innovation was required. Working in Romania before that, uh, or even before 89, nobody was saying to you that, yes, we do so to innovate. It was just like a hobby or uh, when I was working in microelectronic uh, company, I was doing a few, uh, I was doing a few Romanian invention and I do have them and I'm proud of that time, but nobody asked that. And uh, coming to Hanuel, uh, I saw how important it is that someone to be interested in, uh, in innovation, just to require to do innovation, just to reward to do innovation. And this is actually the key that, uh, I would like to, to talk with all of you, to, to challenge you on this direction and to, to hear from you, uh, your experience uh, in, in this field. Because uh, innovation is key. And uh, this innovation as a key tool should start, of course, from the highest level of the company, because otherwise it's something, uh, again, uh, 
one man idea and uh, nobody look at that. So it's important to have a connection uh, between the CEO of the company and every worker in the company. When I say innovation, it's not only to do the highest uh, invention of the world. Innovation means to do the best of your job in the place where you are. And uh, you to be CEO of your job. Uh, you to have um, ideas, you to, to feel uh, responsible for your job there, and you to want to improve yourself every day. So th this is in my mind uh, what, uh, what means uh, innovation. But uh, definitely this is a very complex concept because it is related with a kind of liberty, a kind of change in the management style. You have to, to change the paradigm from a management where the, the CEO is uh, the ruler. He dictates everything, control everything, and uh, know everything, knows everything. So it, it's, it's a totally opposite. Uh, when, you, when you want to be uh, a CEO of an innovative company, you have to change yourself as a manager first, and then you have to be humble to, to be uh, 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 an enable, enabler, as I said in the, in the previous uh, talk. So uh, th these are the things, and I would be very uh, curious to see how other people are considering uh, this uh, innovation uh, process. Uh, and uh, speaking from the point of view of innovator, it's very important that you see that someone really want to, to push your innovation. We've been working with a company, uh, all the factories of Hanwell, most of them, or some of them. And uh, we were always quite eager to, to see that our innovation are uh, applied in a way. So, uh, and sometimes uh, this and, is- And make results. It means because we discuss innovations is not only to present something uh, nice, but to have at the end of the day, a results to be uh, on the market and that it happens. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not, not people to remain, but only we present, we present and we are part a company is a factory to do manuf to manufacture and to be sold. In a way, it's all simpler. In a way, Cornell, to be honest, because you have a huge marketing, and they say uh, do that. <laughs> uh, when, it, when we said that we've been working with uh, annual companies, uh, they were coming to us with a certain topic, uh, and that was related to their market and their production, their future production, uh, and. Uh, uh, it was a very complex process, and it is a very complex process, but those companies that really find a way to, to keep uh, motivated the innovators to, to connect uh, the research with a certain requirements in a company in the market, uh, that is the key in the end uh, for the success at the organization level and uh, even for satisfaction. And maybe to, to share with our uh, colleagues of this uh, round table, uh, I remember when I stepped in in 2004, you are the, the boss as a technology, senior technology manager. I remember we start working for uh, so uh, pressure sensor that should be delivered on the market in many years before the legislation requires that. It means look also at the re change in uh, legislative requirements because now everybody has a pressure sensor entire. But that time wasn't, and uh, I remember we start working on that many, many years ago. It means look around. And uh, for small companies that we discuss with now, and uh, for uh, university and R&D, it's not so easy, but you should do that. We should uh, also look at uh, trends, market, and also needs more than requirements, because who find the needs and fulfill it, a problem, to solve a problem, like also our uh, a colleague of uh, Roundtable from DDS say, that is a problem, we start from the problem, what we need to solve, what it's missing. Okay, thank you, thank you, Professor Coviano. If someone look to add something. Nobody, maybe I share with you, maybe a small example of uh, what it was the main uh, proposal initially to Metos. Share this one, please. Uh, yes, it means an example that I work with is from uh, a project of technology transfer from uh, IMT. I don't know why he's not linked with, uh, with Catalina. And uh, yeah, next, next. It was a, a project 
that work with activity to be developed in cooperation. Yes, and it was with a company. Please next. And it was interesting we done we proceed. Actually, it's um, the principal investigator uh, was uh, Catalin, my colleague, Dr. Catalin Perbulescu, and I helped with this methodology. It was to, to do some nanotubes for sensing. And this, it was uh, four inputs with low and high level, and we measure lens diameter and the wall thickness. It means to control the dimension of uh, nanotubes. This next. Here it was uh, reduced factorial. It means because there were many, many in the long time for each, uh, for each uh, trial, for each run. We do a reduced one with to replicate and one central point to see how linear it's. We do these measurements. It was very, very attentive and a very good experimenter, not only, uh, like say, scientist, but very good experimenter, uh, part of experimentation, Catherine. But done and this next. And we derive some statistics with the uh, Vinita program, this next. And what we find here is very, very important. Uh, we find transfer function, it means we find how it depends the dimension on. Uh, inputs, and we also could see, uh, please next, uh, next, uh, yes, here is much better to see what uh, we start discussing, I suggest, uh, what it means robustness. If you look here, for instance, to volt, voltage, to distance, you could see if you could not control uh, so good, let's say, that the voltage or is very expensive, let's say you use four for distance or the variation from 20 to 40 volts uh, provoke a small output variation. Opposite, if you need uh, uh, the other one or you need the more robust design, for example, not to depend, not to depend on distance, you should choose uh, 20 volts and not 40. And what is good, you have a transfer function, this next. Yes, and here, here we get, yes, stop, 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 stop. You get the nano, perfect. You stop, you get the nano tube dimension. You could control from fabrication process and you get by dimension initially resistance and capacity, please next. It comes the combustion uh, gases, it, it's change the value and if are separable using today is called artificial intelligence. I say the recognition I do for 30 years and I didn't say it's artificial intelligence. Now everybody says artificial intelligence, almost everything. Okay, please next. And you could say what kind of gas. It is also presented. Okay. Thank you. Is someone who like to do some comments? Okay, maybe next time we could stay also in a discussion in link to share uh, from us. Uh, it's if you like to share someone, Audrey, if you like to share some something with us. Hello, Audrey, you are there? Yeah, I'm there. Yes. Um, yeah, maybe I can share about our uh, lessons learned uh, from the discovery and pilot phase that we uh, we conducted. So, um, as I was uh, mentioning, uh, we uh, have a, a huge challenge in uh, incentivizing farmers to adopt regenerative practices, and one way of doing it is through carbon financing. So, the question is how uh, you uh, is that process to get. Uh, carbon financing. And through our platform, when we uh, deploy it during the pilot phase, main learnings were, were that um, they uh, have huge pain in uh, inputting data, finding all the relevant and available data uh, which are needed for carbon calculation models. So what we are currently uh, improving now is this uh, process, simplifying it while still having the uh, robust calculation methods behind. So this is where we stand now, simplifying the process on the farmer side, on the user side, while still having robustness, uh, scientific, scientifically speaking, uh, in our technological infrastructure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, 
Um, I think if nobody like to share, we'll, we'll stop here because we have in five minutes uh, another uh, meeting or uh, not a round table, it's a workshop or a satellite event. Also, if you like, you could uh, attend also this one. But uh, if I have uh, your permission, I share with all participants all slides. All those the people who could not attend or was it? Catalina, you are there? No. <laughs> okay. But I present a part of uh, the common work in the important part related to innovation. It means how to do a robust design or to control the design in manufacturing environment. So I thank you both so much. Uh, keep in touch. And, and I wish you a lot of success to make innovation happy happy oh to be happy <laughs> happen <laughs> and to be happy okay okay see you and sure we stay in touch and we cooperate thank you so much for all the participants thank you